ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट द इंटरफेसिंग ऑफ वाटर लेवल सेंसर विद दैट ऑफ द ऑर्डिनो यूनो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी मस्ट नो दैट ऑर्डिनो यूनो एंड सेंसर बोथ आर नॉट प्रोवाइडेड बाय द प्रोटीस बिकॉज प्रोटीस डोंट हैव एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ कंपोनेंट्स which will represent both that is the sensor and the controller so we have to design our own sensor and uh, we can import the arduino from outside so we can go to component mode here we can see we can write arduino okay so this is our arduino you can you must know that how to download its library and how it needed to be included inside the uh, proteus library folder so you must know that and you need to include it okay now we we can see that we have arduino you know here okay now we will go for our water level sensor so this is our water level sensor so this is our water its output must be connected with the analog zero pin of the arduino uno we also need to edit its properties and click on attach hierarchy module then we need to go to child sheet and here we will choose some functions or controls and we will write here input and output okay again exit to parent sheet okay now one more thing that this is not a perfect library like dot idx file so you must have to download the same proteus file which is given whose link is given in the description so it this sensor will only work in that file so we need to go and take our dc source so this is our water level sensor okay now we need to go and take virtual terminal which is actually the serial monitor so rxt must be connected with txt and txt with rxt of arduino uno so this is our circuit and it is completed now we can go okay here we we have this simple arduino code for to read the analog signal on pin a0 of the arduino uno okay now we also need to declare one more variable which will scale our uh like uh, it it will do some sort of mapping or scaling to the to the values of the signal which is stored inside the y so it is y comma 0 comma 10 23 comma 0 comma 255 so what it means is that on x axis the resolution is 10 24 and on y axis the resolution is 256 so now we will write if if our value is greater than 200 then we need to write water level reached and if r is less than 200 then we can write water level not reached okay now we need to compile this one and we also need to copy its hex link okay so this is our hex link you need to be carefully copy it and then place inside the arduino you know okay now we will see what will happen so water level not reached okay now we we, we will go and 
we will give a signal of 5 volt and here it is written water level reached so hopefully you got this concept regarding the water level sensor interfacing with that of the Arduino Juno so thanks for visiting our channel